Hey guys, Jesse here. I had a comment from a user named Thanks for Nothing, who said that there wasn't enough um, useful bits in my Bixby video. I'm gonna try and show for him mainly and others that are curious some useful features of Bixby, things that uh, Bixby can do that Google Assistant and Siri can't do. So, for example, got Bixby right here, and I can say, open my subscriptions on YouTube. Sure thing, here it is. And it has brought up my subscriptions. Great, Bixby. So I got one XP for telling it that is what I wanted it to do. Now let's try it with Google Assistant and see how it works out. Okay, Google. Open my subscriptions on YouTube. It found a web search, which is not what I wanted. Let's try that again. Okay, Google. Open my subscriptions on YouTube. It can't do it. So, I mean, it's kind of neat that you can put more of a context into it. It tries to, uh, Bixby tries to anticipate what you're going to say. Let's uh, test that out with Bixby Vision. Open Bixby Vision and scan for similar images. On it, I'm scanning now. All right, here are the search results. Okay, so, I scanned my daughter's Nightmare Before Christmas binder. And don't know if you can see it here. It found it on the web. The exact same picture. Now we'll try that with Google Assistant. Okay, Google. Take a picture and find a similar image on the web. No camera app installed. Um, I, I do have a camera app installed. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, while Bixby can do things that Google and Siri can't do, um, it's not really a replacement. I, I would actually consider it like a sidekick for your phone, and it actually scans your phone's local information before it goes to the web. So that is something that is pretty cool. And now we'll try something with Facebook. Open Facebook and post the message, I can't wait for the weekend. Let's check first, then tap or say post. Okay, so it got my post correctly. And the whole idea of Bixby is eventually it'll learn enough so that anything you do with your finger, you can do with your voice. So it's commendable. Um, I remember when I first fired up, up Bixby, I tried to send a text message and it couldn't do it. And Google Assistant can. But since then, I mean, it works great. And I can even tell it read the latest message from Sierra. Okay, here's the message from Sierra. I'm so happy and I hope you love it as much as me. Would you like to reply? Sure. Sure, what do you want your message to say? You did a great job painting that dresser. It looks beautiful. Do you want to send a message? Say yes or no. Yes. Done. I've sent it. Another thing that impressed me is that you can adjust your specific volumes with uh, Bixby Voice. Minimize notification volume. Hmm, we already have it set to the minimum. Maximize media volume. Hmm, that's already as loud as it gets. See, that's pretty cool. There are redeeming things, and I'm continuing to learn about as much as Bixby does. Open Instagram and show the latest posts. Okay, let's check out the posts. Awesome. Open Instagram and show my latest pictures. Let's write a caption now. Okay, so it tried to bring up my latest videos and pictures to post onto Instagram when I wanted it to show the latest posts that I've made on Instagram. So it was close. 
still pretty cool. Let's try Google Assistant. Okay, Google. Open Instagram and show me the latest posts. Here's what I found on the web. Okay, so it is pretty impressive what Bixby can do compared to the basic commands that the other assistants offer. It can do more than rap and beatbox and tell jokes, guys. What do you think of Siri? I'm programmed for relationships with humans like you, not other software. <laughs> nice one. Another cool thing that Bixby is supposed to be able to do, I don't have a smart enough car to test it, but you're supposed to be able to teach it to tell you where you parked if you have forgotten. So I'm gonna try this. Remind me to buy eggs when I get to work. Actually, I couldn't find work. Let's add the address here to create the reminder. Oh, okay. Well, I have work saved on Google Maps, but Bixby doesn't know where I work yet. Um, it's in beta testing with Google Maps and a bunch of other Google applications. So it's asking for my work address so that it can remember where I work to remind me when I get there. So that's actually pretty cool. Remind me to let the dogs out when I get home. Hmm, there's no address for home. Let's add one to create the reminder. Okay. Well, I'm currently at home, and we'll see if it reminds me when I get home from work. Read me some news. Sure, it's loading. Live from NPR News in Washington, I'm Louise Schiavone. President Trump today condemned by name the right-wing extremist groups. Oop, I don't want to hear politics right now. Okay, Google. Read me some news. And it suggested some news apps, which is close, but Bixby just jumped in. What if I was driving and I just wanted to hear something while I was paying attention to the road? Bixby's definitely winning in terms of these uh, special commands. So it almost feels like uh, when it doesn't know, it tries its best to think before it says, uh-oh, I can't do that. Play on feeling lucky music. It seems we ran into a slight hiccup. Okay, Google. Play on feeling lucky music. Here you go. So Google actually did that better, but Play Music is a product of Google, so I would assume that Google would have the advantage there. Overall, guys, I'm very interested to see how Bixby learns and continues to learn and grow, and um, as Bixby learns to do cool new things, I'll uh, post an update video if you guys are interested. But as it stands, Bixby's not completely useless. So thank you guys for watching, leave a comment below.